In this video, I am going to show you how you can track checkout event for your Snapchat Pixel using Google Tag Manager. Hi, you are welcome to this video. My name is Nasim and I am a top trader freelancer on Upwork. I love to share my experience and teach people how to build digital skills and make money from home. So if you want to stay up to date, then consider subscribing to this channel. I think you will never be disappointed. Let's get back to this topic. This is my website and I am going to track checkout event for this. So first of all, I am going to Google Tag Manager PB mode and I need the trigger. So that's why I am connecting the preview mode and my website is opening. And here it is. And then I am going to do the checkout event. This is product, add to cart, and then checkout. And then here it is, it's a checkout page. And if I go back my tag manager page, then I will see it's a new event which is begin checkout. This is actually a checkout event, and I am going to see the all the event here. Just I copy the event name and Go the tag manager trigger section and then I am going to make a new trigger which is begin checkout. Just click on custom event and input the exact same name and just give a name here and then save changes. And then I am going to make a new tag, just click on new and select the snapshot template and then select the snapshot pixel and then event type which is start checkout you can see here is many event just select start checkout because it's a checkout event and here i have to select few information for product price product category actually i am going to make it a product and then product id and currency so this enough for me for this project or this event and then i am going to select the trigger which is begin checkout and here it is and after that click on save and give the name which is begin checkout snap pixel begin checkout and then done and let's check it out first go the preview mode again and open the website again and you can see the my website is opening on the preview mode so it's connected successfully and now go to the website and do the same event on the website so this is website and click on the product and then add to cart and then you can see here is the option which is checkout just click on that button and then here it is it's a checkout and if i go the extension the second one is start checkout that's me it's working fine and also my tag is working and you can see the value also coming through the gtm data layer and after that it's finally you have to publish it then it will work perfectly so and you can see this version is now live if you don't understand any part of this video or if you have any suggestion please do comment I will really appreciate it. And if you need my service that I am providing as a freelancer, feel free to contact me. I would love to work with you. You can visit my website. So that's all for today. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give thumbs up because it helps me to continue working on this channel. My name is Nasim and I will see you on the next video. Till then, bye. Have a good day.